Hi everyone. Today we'll be learning how to make this simple Ankara shirt with pleats on the sides and a very large pocket just to you know make it look a little bit different like from the usual type of shirts. So let's get started. Now I have my pattern paper already and I've drawn some lines. So let me quickly explain some things. Now your waist to your crouch depth is called is the crouch line. You divide your hip circumference by four, that will give you your crouch depth. So the first line is my waistline, then I have waist to hip line, which is eight inches on the average, and waist to crouch line, which is your hip circumference divided by four, and your waist to the wherever you want the short stop. Okay? Yeah. So next thing on the crouch hip and waistline, I will be marking quarter of my hip circumference okay so i'm working with 40 inches that will be 10 okay which automatically means the crouch depth for this particular shot is 10 inches okay so i'm just drawing a line to connect all three now this line i just drew is going to be the center front for the shots okay now we have what we call the front crouch extension that is your hip circumference divided by 20 so that will be two for me now from the center front line i'll be marking two inches that is my front crouch extension hip circumference divided by 20. i hope that is very clear now with my french curve i'm going to draw the crouch my crouch line for the front mind you are drafting the front pattern okay so this is my crouch for the front next thing i'm going to mark quarter of my waist circumference on the waistline plus one inch for that intake okay so um the waist i'm working with is 32 32 divided by 4 will give me 8 then 1 inch for that that will give me 9 okay and i'm not adding any seam allowance yet now um i'll come up by half inch on the waistline and then i'll join from that point to the hip line like that it's so simple Next thing, I'm going to mark my dots. I will measure from there, divided by two. Whatever I have from the center front to the side there, I'll divide it by two and then mark the dart leg. Then your dart should stop at least two inches before the hip line. So I'm using five inches for the length of my darts, and I'll be marking half inch on both sides of that line and I will just connect like so. Okay, so this is a dart. Then I'll link this to the one inch, half inch that I is in squaring up. I beg your pardon. Okay, so my front pattern is getting ready. Next thing I need to determine what we call the crease line. A crease line is a line that creates a balance on your trouser. So to get that, I'll be measuring from my front cut extension to um, the other end there. And that's 12. So mid wheel will give me 6. Okay, middle will be six. Now I'll mark six inches on the hemline. Then I'm going to draw my crease line like so. Okay, so now that I've drawn my crease line, you will measure your round. Um, if you're sure to get to the knee line, okay, or before the knee, measure the circumference. So I'm using 21. Now, because this is front, that'll be 10.5. Now I will divide 10.5 into two. Okay. So that'll be four, five point two five on both sides. So in total, everything is still ten point five. But I have shared it, you know, evenly um, on both sides of my crease line. I'll join this to the crouch line like so, and same thing on this side. I'll be using the curve part of my ruler to like draw the upper part of this crouch line, okay, like this. So um, the front pattern is like ready. It's as simple as this. Okay, so like I said, wherever you're sure to stop, you take the circumference of that part. This is the front. Now I want to draft in the back pattern on the same pattern. Okay, so I really need to pay attention here, and I'll be using a different color of marker. Okay, um, to do that. Now, um, I'll be using a blue pen or blue marker. Now, um, from my center front, I am going to adjust the center back line now. I'll come back by three quarter of an inch from the center front line, and then I'll go back by two inches for, uh, from the center front line. 
yeah so i will now draw a new line this new line is now my center back our back is not straight so the line is not supposed to be straight okay then i'll just extend all these lines here that is the crouch waist and the hip lines and also the hemline okay now from my center back line i will be marking quarter of my hip plus one inch for ease now take note i didn't say seam allowance i said ease if you don't add this ease, you won't be able to bend down properly so quarter of my hip is 10 plus one inch for ease that'll give me 11 okay so no seam allowance yet then i will come up by 1.5 inch okay from my natural waistline you know we're drafting the back okay then from this point i'll place my tape okay till it touches the waistline let me extend the um, waistline here okay now i'll place my tape from the point i marked on the center back line till it touches the natural waistline the back is always higher than the front because of the bum bum yeah or else you'll be struggling so i'll mark quarter of my waist plus one inch for that exactly on the waistline can you see that point i marked then i'll square up half an inch like so and then i'm going to connect like that so this is my back waistline it's actually higher than the front okay but it's the same uh, length on the sides okay now same thing i'll uh, measure the length and divide by two to create my dart for the back now because the center back is not straight your dart is not supposed to be straight so you use your pattern master to do that and then the back that is longer than the front that with one inch okay so i'll be marking six for the front i used five that's for the length of my dart then i'll be marking half inch on both sides like so and then i will connect so that's all for the back dart now we're moving to the side now the side is going to look very funny just follow me okay now um from where i marked um cut out the waist plus one inch for cut out the hip plus one inch for ease i will be measuring what is remaining okay from that point towards the end of the paper okay so i'll just measure what is here whatever i have there i'm going to mark the same thing on the hip line okay the same thing yeah like that it's so simple same thing then i'll take my um, ruler to connect waist to hip crouch to the um hemline now before you connect to the hemline okay the back um, pattern is bigger than the front pattern with half an inch so i'll be adding half inch okay away from the front pattern half inch on both side i'll connect this to the crouch line then i'm going to use the curve part of my ruler to blend up so like i said when you're constructing this part it might look funny but don't worry it will come out nice then on this other side here i'm marking half an inch then we need to calculate our back crouch extension which is hip divided by 10 so that's like four for me so from my center back line not from the center front the center back line that's a blue line i will be measuring four inches and that will be my own back crouch extension okay so i'm going to link this to the half inch mark okay so i'll just draw a straight line first and then i'll use the curve part of my ruler to connect that to the crouch extension so take note the blue marker is a back pattern and then I'll be creating my crouch now, okay, on the blue line, please, the center back line. That's why I use two different colors of marker so that we don't get confused, okay, here. So, uh, I think that's all. Now, with my tracing wheel, I'll be tracing out the back pattern. Let me show you what I'm going to be tracing out, okay. This is my tracing wheel, okay. So, I'll trace out from here, the blue parts from here, Okay, into the back crotch extension, up to the waistline, like so, the side seam, and all the way down the hemline, and also the crease line, and my darts. Okay, then I'll also trace out the back and the front pattern. Okay, okay, guys, here it is. So, how do you differentiate the front and back? The back crotch is longer than the front. That's the most easiest way to recognize both patterns, and the back waistline is slightly higher. 
okay so this is the master pattern i'm going to be keeping this for future purpose okay and i've traced out the front and back now let's construct our band you could make yours bandless anyway so for my band i'll be doing two inches for the height of my band okay then i'll just you know draw it out and i wouldn't want my dart to be shown on the band so I'll, I'll be closing the dart on the band now um for the side seam i'll be adding one inch for side seam allowance the hemline one inch seam allowance in seam 0 0.5 the crouch 0 0.5 inch then i'll cut out my band first before i will um talk about the allowance on the band so what you do is you cut out the band like this then um you add half inch to the top like so then you label the band so i don't make mistake half an inch this is my front okay then this is the side same and this is my center front very very important please and the arrow showing the direction of the band then you should also fold in the darts like this so you're cutting the band on your fabric the dart will be closed already okay so this is my front band you have to label so that i don't mix up things so that's for the front okay and then uh, i'll be cutting for the four of this i mean the band on fabric two for fabric um two for lining now this is my back i will also be measuring two inches for the width of my band and then i'll just use my ruler to connect just the same way we did for the front okay and then side seam allowance is going to be one inch hem hem in allowance will be one inch too in seam okay will be 0 0.5 inch now i'll be adding zipper to my own pant at the back not at the side so um your zipper should stop at the hip depth okay so from that point to the hip depth my seam allowance will be one inch then after that, I'll be adding half inch to the crouch. I hope that is clear. Okay. Then I'll also be cutting on the band like we did for the front pattern. Like so. Please don't forget to label so that you don't mix things up. This is my center back. Okay. 0 0.5 inch. 0 0.5 inch. Center back will be 1 inch. And side seam will also be 1 inch. Okay. But if you want your zipper to be at the side, center back allowance will be half an inch. Okay. Now, I'll just fold in my darts like that, okay? And then um, I'll be also cutting four of this on my fabric. So let me go ahead and transfer to my fabric. Okay, so here are my, my um, patterns on the fabric. You can see that I've added my seam allowance round. This is the front, okay? So for the front, I've added an allowance, and this is my back. One inch for side seam, one inch for the hemline, half inch on the waist, for the center back, one inch because of the zipper, then half inch on the crouch, and half inch on the inseam. Okay? So let's get to work. It's so, so easy to make. Now we'll be starting with the crouch. So, um, for the front, I'll be sewing the two front pieces on the center front up to the crouch, half an inch. Then I'll also be sewing my darts on the two front pieces. Same thing for my back. For the back, I'll start sewing from the hip line, okay? Because um, the upper part is for the zipper. So I'll sew half an inch on the crouch. Then I'll be sewing my darts on both sides of the back pieces. Okay, so I've sewn my darts. This is the front, okay? And of course, this is the back piece. I told us I was not sewing the upper part yet because of the zipper. Now, I would love to add pockets to my shorts. And I've already cut out my pockets. Okay? So, um, this is my pocket here. I use a different fabric. I've already done a roll them twice. And I've already um, like sewn it already for the top part. Now, for the dimensions, I'm using um, um, about 11 inches. So, I have half inch to roll at the bottom. And then the width of the pocket is about um, nine or thereabouts. So you'll be folding half an inch on both sides. You have to fix the pocket before you go ahead to do other things. Okay, so I've fixed my pockets. It's really looking nice. Okay. Now the next step, I want to add pleats to my shorts. So you'll be cutting out, you know, a stripe 3.5 inches wide. 
then you fold it into two like this okay then you have to create pleats now you measure the length of the shorts minus the seam allowance and then you do probably times two or times three of this length that will be the length of the um strap okay now after folding you should have about 1.75 okay so when you fold you're going to be creating um pleats you would have you know turned this other end first then you create pleats on one side of the um trouser after sewing it down then you would now place the back piece okay on it and then attach it or you could pin but this is the, actually the most easiest way yeah so when you're attaching the pleats to the first piece you attach it like half an inch okay because the main seam allowance on the short is um one inch okay i just hope i'm making sense yeah so i've attached my pleats to one side of my shorts and the other side so the next step would be to sew the inseam okay so i'm flipping this over to the wrong side now i'm going to take my front and back piece together like this you know i'll pin them together at the crouch like i'm doing Then from the center here, you sew all the way down and then all the way down to the second inseam here. And after you've done that, you want to do a rolled hem for um, the shorts. Just fold half inch twice and that's all. Then we're going to come to the fixing of the band. So for the band, for each of my patterns here, I have four pieces each. Okay. So two will be serving as fabric, two will be serving as lining. I hope that makes sense. Now this is my center front piece or the front piece. I'll be joining two of them together, you know, with half an inch like that. Okay. Then I'll open up. Then I'll take the two um, back pieces. Okay. And then place them side by side. You have to be very careful so that you don't mix up the patterns. Okay. So right side facing right side. This is one back piece. This is my side. And of course the other back piece. This is the right side. So I have to you know flip it over to like the wrong side. Okay? Like that. So for for these four pieces now you're going to be cutting the corresponding line which is the same fabric anyway. That was why I said um four four. Okay? I hope that made sense. Okay, so now I've turned all four pieces together. Can you see? The two pieces in front and two at the back. And of course, this is the corresponding line in here. The same thing. So I'll just place them together. Make sure they align. I'll go ahead and turn the top part with half an inch. And we'll be back to fix it to our shorts. Okay, here. So this is the band here okay you can see that this band is not straight so don't you know cut at the, if you cut at the normal straight band you will not achieve this perfect waistline okay so i'll be attaching my band to the shorts now okay so you're going to match center front to center front of the shorts you're going to sew the band all the way to the back and then you would also be adding a zipper okay so this is the final outcome of my shorts i've already added my zipper to the back you know it's so so lovely with the pockets yeah so i hope you um enjoyed this tutorial yes please do not forget to subscribe to our channel give this video a thumbs up leave your comments and your reaction share with your friends and um, just enjoy yourself thank you so much for watching bye